Uh, so, hi everybody. Um, so I got a request on my Tumblr for um, some differences between Korea and the USA. So I've been kind of like chewing on the idea and trying to think of some things and um, I've made like a, a short list. I've got like a ton of things, but I want to start to keep my videos a little shorter. So we'll go through a couple of them now and then I'll probably do like, you know, more in the future if, if you guys like this one. So, first thing um, is eating out is like super cheap here. Um, so in the states, I, I like never I never eat out. Um, in part because I was a college student, and in part because it was just freaking expensive. Um, you know, it could be like ten to fifteen dollars just to to get a meal. Whereas here, um, you could, you know, you could go to like the fast food places and stuff, but you can uh, eat out for somewhere between five and six thousand won. That's like five dollars. Um, so it's really, really cheap and really cool. Um, okay, and the second thing I noticed is while we're talking about food, um, Koreans leave bones and things. Uh, so just like a heads up. Like, you might be especially fish. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've put fish in my mouth and then been like, oh, crap, there's a tiny bone in there um, and had to, like, pull it out. Apparently, some people in Korea just, like, eat the bones. <laughs> I uh, don't know if I would recommend that, but um, I, I take it out. Um, but it's a little awkward. And even, like, um, pork and, and beef and stuff, you'll find, like, the bones sitting in the stew and you just have to eat around it. It's a little awkward. Um, and finally, on the topic of food, uh, red beans. Red beans are dessert here. They are dessert. Uh, you'll find red bean ice cream. You'll find red beans um, in like mixed with other things. Like it's it's a dessert. Uh, so it's kind of weird, kind of cool. Um, but it's actually really growing on me. I I like red beans now as a, as a dessert item. Whereas in the states, uh, red beans were like red beans and rice is like a traditional southern Louisiana you know, dish. It was like a spicy food, not a dessert. Um, okay, my second uh, topic is you, the difference between the states, and this is kind of similar and kind of different. In the states, I didn't have a smartphone, and I didn't feel like I needed one. Um, but here, you need a smartphone. Uh, no joke. Like, if you don't have a smartphone, you are going to miss out on a lot. Um, everybody here uses Kakao Talk. It's this app. Um, that's like free texting app basically but you can send pictures and stuff and everybody uses it um, as a foreigner it's really really nice to have a cell phone um, in case you get lost or you want to check the subway and the buses and things like that but like everybody has a cell phone um, even the older generations like they have cell phones you'll, you'll find a few but it's it's a lot of people um, okay fashion fashion Korea is looking good Korea in general, like, y'all are good-looking people. Like, um, they're thinner, for sure. Uh, definitely a huge difference. A lot of, like, I, I do not see obese people here. Like, they don't, I don't think they exist. Um, I've seen, like, a couple fat Koreans, but definitely not obese. Um, and they all look really, really good. They're all dressed really well. The, the children are <laughs> dressed really well. Um, and on that topic, my, um, my students, my children, um, they, they have dyed hair, like the boys. The boys will have um, their hair dyed red, they'll have highlights, they'll have ear piercings. Um, we're talking like fourth graders. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're dressed to the nines and they, they have dyed hair and ear piercings. <laughs> so that's definitely different. Um, let's see, what else is there? There's the clubs, which I've already done a video about, so I won't go into that too much, but um, the clubs don't close. You know, not until like 8 in the morning, so people just stay out all night. That's definitely different. In the States, they would close um, at like 2 a.m. Um, here, no. Mm -mm. 2 a.m., it's just beginning to start, you know, getting there, getting grooving. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely different. Um, and on that that thread, uh, Korea is a lot safer um, than, than in the States. And, and I say that Korea is getting more dangerous slowly, but... Um, in general, I would say I feel a lot safer here than I did necessarily back home. Um, and uh, the only okay, the only dangerous places 
really hear, and I'm and I'm don't mean to bash the military, but quite frankly, the only dangerous places around here are, are near the American military bases. Um, and that's that's not like this. Not me bashing the military. I I admire those men for for giving so much of their time and their effort and their lives to defend our country and everything and to help out South Korea. But quite frankly, the really sweet guys who are in the military, um, you know, they're in bed sleeping. The it's the ones that cause trouble. They go to the bars near the military bases and they cause trouble. Um, so the dangerous parts of Korea are the ones where the most Americans are. Um, you know. So, but in general, Korea is it's a very safe country compared to the United States. Um, okay, I have two more things. I have to wrap this up real fast. Um, razors here suck. They suck. Um, they're not like they exist. You can find them, but they're not built for foreigners. They're not. They're not built for Westerners. Um, and quite frankly, I've used them a couple times, and I now know to be afraid of them um, to the point where I'm having a friend bring some over to me. Um, I'm lucky enough that he's traveling over here. Um, because they're they're not good. Even the ones that are like American brand, um, they're they're just not the same. There's something about them. Um, and and uh, shaving cream is also very hard to find. So if you're coming over, um, bring your own razors, bring your own shaving cream for like a whole year. Because there's not, I can't really find anything that I feel really comfortable with that gives me like a good girl shave. <laughs> um, and I hear that it's the same thing with the face face stuff for guys. Um, and the last thing, um, K-pop and K-drama idols are everywhere. Um, like for example, if you don't like IU, don't come to Korea. Like just, just don't. Just stay, stay home because like she is everywhere. Her and um, that guy from um, the first uh, Dream High, I forget his name, but like the one she ends up with, um, he, that actor, they're everywhere. Um, like selling anything you could possibly dream of and there's definitely no way that they've used like all these products they just take their face and put it on stuff um like for example big bang is on a bunch of sodas like just their face on a bunch of sodas uh so yeah if you i guess i'm, I'm just not used to celebrities so shamelessly putting their image out there for any and all products that will pay them money um but yeah, okay, so this is already still a really long video, um, sorry about that, but that's, that's some differences between the United States and Korea, and I uh, hope you liked it, and I'll do some more, I guess, if you guys um, want me to. Okay, see you next time. Bye!